The first thing we need to do, as with any electrical work, is make sure our breaker is uh, turned off. Um, so we're going to check that and make sure the power is now off to that source. Some of the things we may need is an electrical tester, a wire stripper, uh, you know, Phillips screwdriver or drill. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to remove the old one. So we've got to take the dial off here and then also we're going to peel off the cover. Uh, and then inside here you see there's two screws um, that are uh, screwed down into the uh, plastic housing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take those screws out now and uh, loosen it up all the way. Now what happens is you see that there's been many coats of paint uh, since this was originally installed or last replaced. So it's going to be kind of stuck down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a knife there, a blade, and just kind of um, cut around the outer edge of this uh, unit here. And that should get it loose. Matter of fact, there you go. You see how it just kind of pops loose on its own there. And then we can pull it out. Now looking at this, uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the wires out, kind of separate everything so we can see what we're looking at. Uh, this particular dial's got three, technically three wires coming off. So we've got the, uh, the red, black, and then we've also got the uh, copper uh, ground wire as well. So we're going to go ahead and take off um, some wire nuts and then do another electrical testing on it just to make 100% sure that we have turned the power off to the correct thing. Now personally I pissed my wife off and she's been messing around in the garage so I'm gonna keep checking on these wires to make sure she didn't turn that breaker back on on me here or something. Uh, but we're gonna make sure there's no power going to this and uh, we're gonna check all the wires and the voltmeter you see there it reads uh, zero no voltage going to it so it's now safe to continue on. So we've disconnected the red wire, we've disconnected the black wire, now I'm going to take the wire nut off of the, uh, the grounds here. And I'm just going to separate it and pull it apart here, and there it is. We have removed the old dial. That thing is about 30 years old. Um, here we've got the new unit, and this one actually only has just the two. It does not have the copper ground wire. Uh, so we're going to strip the red wire and the black wire. Uh, to get it ready, make sure we got enough exposed here so we can spin it on to the wires coming out of the uh, box here. And first, I'm going to connect the. Uh, we're going to connect them the same way they were connected before. We're going to connect the black wire, red wire here, and put a wire nut on it. Find it. What? Do you find it? No. Well, we're going to do the same thing here and then connect the black wire to the black wire. So we're putting a wire nut on that. And since we don't have the copper ground wire, we're just going to cap off the existing ones because there's still uh, two other wires coming into that box uh, that were grounded. So we're going to just cap that off since we don't have to connect it to the new dial. And once all that is done, I'm just going to go ahead and tuck all the wires back into the box here um, somewhat neatly and uh, that way we can remount and screw down our new uh, dial here and again it's going to be just two screws just like it was when we took the old one off uh, we're going to tighten them down okay. all right we're finished tightening this bottom screw down make sure everything's nice and even and all we got to do is snap the plastic cover on and then what we're going to do is going to turn the, turn the power back on at the breaker and see if everything is working properly. So the house is at about 74 degrees, pretty hot. So I'm just going to slowly turn the dial. And it does turn on uh, right around the 76. It's got to kind of sensitize. And there it goes. It is turning on and off. Uh, it looks like at just about the right temperature. And our fan is working and the heating coils are getting hot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. More videos are coming.